Today on the channel, we're going to be talking about why it's so important to talk about money and why many times social workers aren't rich. Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. My name is Eva Ford, uh, social worker, mindset mentor, and coach. And on this channel, I help you live your richest life. Now, today we're actually going to be talking more about mindset and money. And the reason why this topic is so important is because without a mindset for money, we will never be able to earn more money that we say we want. And it's not just about the money though, right? It's also about living a fulfilling life because I believe that being a rich social worker isn't just about the money, but money is included. Um, but it's also about having the freedom, having the time, having the mental space to serve the people that you want to serve and live your best life. Now, if you're not a subscriber to the channel yet, go ahead, hit that subscribe button and like this video so that YouTube can make sure that more people see it. But the first thing that I want to mention in today's video is that money is important. It's an important topic. It's something that so many of us don't talk about and uh, we're going to talk about why we don't talk about talk about it but we need to talk about money um it's it's a fundamental component of the society that we live in and how it's been set up but oftentimes we in social work don't want to talk about it uh, because of a few different reasons that we'll go into uh, but it's a necessity. If you've ever heard that term, uh, it takes cash to care, it absolutely does. And even for you to be watching this video, there was money that was involved in building the computer and in setting up the internet structures and in you even being able to be in the space that you are now. So consider that money is not evil, money is not wrong, but that it's something that's a worthy topic and something we need to talk about. The next reason why social workers really need to talk about this topic of money is because the more money we have, the more we actually can serve and give. And so it makes sense, right? Um, I've heard a statement that money doesn't um, make the person, it reveals the person to themselves. And so I remember one time having a conversation with someone, this is well before my rich social work days and rich social work mentality and I said to the person I don't want to be rich I just want some money so that I can be comfortable and she challenged me and she said why don't you want to be rich what's wrong with being rich and I said I don't want to be you know one of those people that's just stingy and mean and aggressive and she said do you think that that's what rich people are and I said yeah and she said do you know any rich people <laughs> And at the time I didn't and I said well no and she said I know a lot of rich people and they're not that she said of course some people can be like that she said but if you want to be rich then you're going to need to um, start thinking about what you would do with your money because what I found this is what she's telling me what she had found was that the people that became rich and that were really generous before they were rich were even more generous when they had a lot of money. So it's important for us as social workers, especially to be rich, because imagine the amount of good that we would do with more money. And finally, the reason why talking about this topic is important is because not talking about it won't make it go away. Look, money is an important fundamental part of our lives. It's here to stay. It's not going anywhere. Even when you die, there will be money that's involved in your burial or cremation or whatever happens to you so look just <laughs> we've got to wrap our heads around this idea of the concept of money but i have a feeling that if you're subscribed to this channel or if you're watching this video you've probably already decided that it's a pretty important topic so let's get into some reasons why social workers don't actually talk about it so why would a profession devoted to uplifting humanity not talk about something that's so fundamental to its well-being? Well, there are several reasons. Number one, I think, is because social work began not with a focus on money, but with a focus on helping. 
if you even do a cursory history into social work, at least social work in the state, um, it was started by a number of socialites and women primarily who didn't necessarily need money. Um, they had money already. Their husbands had money. They were wealthy. And so this idea of serving and giving kind of was an overflow. And so they were able to focus on the issues that um, poor and needy people had at the time. And money was less of a concern for them and for their pockets. And the profession of social work is not that old. We're only about 120 years into it uh, professionally. And we're still kind of seeped into that culture of it's not being about us, it's about the client. And of course, we know that in the helping professions, it's about the client. But what we negate oftentimes is that our income, our salaries, our self-care is important as well. And with all of the CEUs that we need and all of the, um, the degrees that we get, yeah, we should be paid as well as the value because of the value that we give to society and to humanity, we absolutely should be paid. But social work didn't start out with that focus. So it makes sense that that's not our focus today. But in order for us to change this narrative, money needs to be more of a focus for us. I'm not saying it needs to be the focus, but each one of us needs to talk about it, needs to share our concerns, and needs to educate ourselves on what money is, what our value is, and work to speak that value so people also understand and can pay us what we're worth. Now, another reason why social workers don't often talk about money is because we're not focused on it. We're focused on resources. We're focused on the clients that are in front of us um, or the issue that's in front of us. We're not necessarily focused on the finances. But you know what's so interesting? There are social workers and other professionals who work, who have to work in administration, who have to work with the budgets. I remember when I was working in a rehab center and... Even I got drawn into the budgeting conversations because uh, there were clients there, that patients there that couldn't stay beyond their 21-day copay. And so I, as a social worker, had to be aware of what was happening with the money, how much money they had to spend, um, the money that their family had. And so that drew me into that financial conversation. And I know that Generally, we as social workers are not focused on money. We're focused, like I said, on the resources. But in order for us to, again, step into this rich social work world, have the freedom that we'd like, have the, the self-care that we'd like, and the money that we'd like, then it's imperative for us to not just focus on the external resources, but money resources and for ourselves. Now, another reason why we as social workers may not talk so much about the money is because service is our name and giving is our game. Now, are you one of those people who declines uh, gratuity when people offer it to you or maybe even in the form of a compliment or anything like that? Because if you are, I want you to also take a look at your bank account because chances are if you're someone who shuns um, maybe praise or uh, shuns any kind of gratis on you, you may be pushing away opportunities to be receiving more wealth. And this wealth could come up, show up in many different ways. But for the most part, we find ourselves in the giving role a lot of times, most of the times. And that's fine. But you also want to consider if that translates into the amount of money that you need to make or that you want to make. And if it doesn't, then wouldn't now be a good time to start receiving all of those things? Um, yes, primarily we've been focused on service, but think too about how you can receive more in your life, in your space. And it may not necessarily be, it may not necessarily start with money. It may start with receiving compliments. It may start with receiving gifts, not from your clients though. <laughs> it may start with um, receiving uh, 
more more time or love i'm not sure but think about how you can receive more in your life in your work in your space and see if that opens up any abundance channels for money as well now i think one of the main reasons why social workers don't talk about money is because before now wanting money and talking about having more money is kind of anti-social work um, we hear about capitalism and capitalism is bad and evil and wrong and mean and in many cases yes it is however capitalism can be used in a way to empower ourselves and empower our, our clients as well there's a move on now called conscious capitalism which i think is where most social workers would lie anyway if we start on this entrepreneurial journey or start to work in business in any capacity and conscious capitalism is just um, the ability to earn money but also to be conscious about how we're spending that money giving back to the community with that money and serving with that money fundamentally there's nothing wrong with capitalism or there's nothing wrong with wanting more money but in many cases we've been taught either covertly or or overtly that something was wrong with that so I challenge you to examine that examine that mindset and um, check out my other video on creating a social work mentality a rich social work mentality and see if that really serves you and see the pros and cons with that and go from there now another reason why social workers are probably not so comfortable talking about money is because we don't have a lot of wealthy social workers to look up to and I think too even when we do have wealthy social workers to look up to like Brene Brown like Stedman Graham who I mentioned in another video and so many others but even when we do have these wealthy social workers to look up to many of us aren't focused on their money we're not focused on their wealth we're focused on the value that they give we're focused on their service we're focused on their messaging and the, com the communities that they serve which is wonderful but I want you to also analyze and consider that these people are able to serve in big ways because they've got big backing so I want you to look around and see if you can find some wealthy social workers. There are tons around. And I want you to see if you can identify what they do differently. And maybe you would even reach out to them to see if you can learn some of their skills and tactics of how they're able to leverage their skills and earn more money and find and follow those examples for yourself. The more we see, the better examples that we see, the more we can model and emulate and realize that it's possible for us as well. Another reason why social workers don't talk about money is because oftentimes we're discouraged from doing so. We hear all the time, and I've said it on this channel a few times already, it's not about the money, don't talk about the money, uh, we don't do it for the money. Yeah, 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 we get that. But let's be honest money is important it's fundamental look it takes money to just live and survive if you have a little baby um the baby takes money you need you need diapers you need formula you need health checks and the baby is not bringing in any income but this is an example of how life works we need money for everything so when you check it out we're often discouraged from doing so and not only are we discouraged externally you might have adopted this idea yourself and you might be even discouraging yourself from wanting to talk about more money or wanting to make more money and i just want to encourage you to look at your messaging look at what you're saying to yourself and what you're sharing with others and see if that still serves you and if you still want that to be what you believe if not it's never too late to change now another reason why many social workers don't talk about money is because we don't know that we can and this goes with the one i just mentioned because when we hear messages like you'll never be rich as a social worker or social workers never make money um subconsciously like it sets in motion this idea that it's not possible for us so why even try but if you consider jahari's window do you remember that diagram where it talks about 
different aspects of ourselves that are known to our, us or known to others or hidden from us and known to others. Think about it this way. There is something about money and wealth and freedom and living a, a fulfilling life that some people are actually doing and they know how to do. And so that means it's possible. Just because we're not doing it or we don't know how to do it doesn't mean it's not possible. The truth is, Every social worker can be a rich social worker, and I mean financially, as well as in other ways as well. But it's, it just takes us learning the things that we need to learn, changing our mindset, changing our behaviors, so that we're aligned with those principles and practices that are able to earn us more money, just like other people who do it too. Now, a common reason why I know social workers don't talk about money, nobody wants to lay bare their you know, money mishaps. Nobody wants to do that. That's embarrassing. No one wants to talk about how how much student debt they have or how they've defaulted on their loans or how much they've run up them uh, in credit card bills. Nobody wants to do that. Um, but if we're sh ashamed of this topic of money, it's never going to go away. I found this quote by Brene Brown, which I love, and I want you to think about it in the context of money. She said, shame is the most powerful master emotion. It's the fear that we're not good enough. And the truth is, a lot of people, I mean a lot of people, have money issues. They have history with money that doesn't look good. But it's okay. Just because you've had a history with money that maybe has been turbulent or antagonistic doesn't make you any worse, worse of a person or doesn't take away your worth and your value. It's part of your story. Now, if you haven't heard my story, and I don't know that I've shared all of it, but there was a time in my life with my bachelor's in social work, with my master's in social work, where I could not pay my light bill. My lights were off for eight months. I had to sell my car. Um, there was no food in the house at one time. And that's pretty extreme. But one of the things that I was doing around that time was I was figuring it out. I was learning what I needed to learn so that I could be in a position to share with other people. I made a promise to myself and to you, even though you didn't know it, that I would never be that broke again and, and have that type of mindset again. And I started to do the work for myself so that I could have a rich social work mentality, a wealth mentality, and so that I could learn and share the things that I knew other people did and that I could do too because I have some measure of intelligence. So I don't want you to let shame or embarrassment with your history of money stop you from wanting more money or learning about money. You can do it. I've done it. You can do it too. Now the next reason why social workers don't talk about money is because before now, we didn't know that we could. I'm in a few Facebook groups where money comes up quite often, but I also remember a time where people didn't talk about money. People didn't talk about it unless it was in the context of not having any um, or of wishing they could have more. But now I'm noticing our conversations are talking more about investing, side hustles, um, and people educating themselves so and finding resources on money. So before now, that might have been the truth. And if you're still in a, in a space where people don't talk about money or you didn't know that you could, know that times are changing and that the power is in your hand. If you don't know anybody in your space, if you don't have anybody in your space that's talking about money, you can be the person that brings up the subject. You, you may be surprised at how many people want to join you in that conversation. You may be surprised at how you can actually be the catalyst for a financial awareness movement in your circle and with your sphere, within your sphere of influence. So now you know that you have permission to talk about money because the last reason a lot of social workers don't talk about money is because they don't have any. Again, don't let that be an excuse. You're on this channel now. 
You've been given permission. You're learning the tools. You're learning to change your mindset to start to think about what you need to think about in order to have those behaviors that will get you the results of having that more money, more freedom, and living that rich social work life that we talk about on this channel. Now, we've just covered 10 reasons why social workers don't talk about money and why we should. And so I want you to take this on as a personal mission of yours. If having more money, more freedom, more time is something that's important to you, then I'd love for you to share this video and make it a conversation starter in your spaces, in your communities, um, with the people that you work with. Do you think that any of these um, are have merit within your life? And can you think of any more reasons why social workers maybe don't talk about money and income and maybe why they should? That would be so great. You would be helping to spread this message of rich social work and you'll be helping to increase the income that we have collectively and individually. Thanks for being here, guys. If you like the video, please like it. YouTube does something with the algorithm so that more people get to see it and the message gets to be shared more. Make sure you've turned on that notification bell so that you'll be able to see the next video that I post and subscribe to the mailing list. I send out information and offers that I just don't share on YouTube. Thanks for being here, guys, and I'll see you again next time.